Welcome to Songkos Worlds and Embodied Enlightenment. So for many of you, you have read maybe about it that Embodied Enlightenment is kind of one of the things that we are doing here in Songkos Worlds. And what it really is all about is making space, creating space for this planetary ascension, for our own evolution for our shifting into a new consciousness and a whole new world. And for all of us, regardless if we are into this for 10 years or maybe hundreds of years, like many of the indigenous people, this is still something quite new and unusual, unprecedented, they say. It's only every millions of years that really the planet goes through such an amazing, amazing shift. So what is the purpose for it all? How can we cope? And beyond coping, how can we invite the shift energetically, emotionally, physically, mentally into our world? So in this video series that we're starting now on Embodied Enlightenment, we share with you how to make this space what kind of movements, what kind of breath, what kind of food, what kind of sound, everything that really helps to embody this enlightenment that actually all of us have. The enlightenment is maybe like a seed. If you have chosen to come at this time incarnating in a human form, it's a path of enlightenment as the whole world Maybe the whole universe is going through this ascension. So it is all about preparing. It is all about being ready. It is about making space for these energies to integrate so that we can shift from that homo, homo sapiens, the men and women of the mind, into the homo luminous. So this is one explanation. The shamans, the, the wisdom keepers of indigenous people, they talk about this for a very long time. And it's simply stepping out of that singular, linear, physical reality and time and space and stepping into the synchronicity and the infinity. And in a way, maybe dancing between these two worlds, the matter and the reductionist and the synchronistic and the energy and that whole quantum space. Stepping out of time where you and I are infinite, just like time. Time is simply a river within infinity. So when we embody enlightenment, it actually means that we are connecting to that self beyond self. So not that human that is maybe obsessed and attached and wants all these different things, but that self that is soul, that is spirit, that has come at this time to heal the past and to install the programs of what is coming within in this whole new experience of being here. So one of the things that we're obviously going to do here is a little bit of movement, a little bit of um, breathing, but also not changing mindsets, but opening the mind. We're going to look at, of course, meditation. We're going to look at story and sound, medicine, because this is what we do to help you to bring this new energy within you. So whatever happens, you can be grounded and you can be here in all your beauty and in all your glory. So for a little taster today, as you know, the easiest thing for me is really to do a little bit of meditation and sound. So I'm inviting you to actually find that place within you that allows you to start integrating those new energies. Often when we are 
skeptical, when we are doubting, when we don't know. And this is a wonderful time of experiencing don't know because what's happening tomorrow, nobody knows. So this is opening up. This is getting confidence to bring that truth within and embody that light. So let us activate in you, if you wish, that ability to embody the light within you that is available to you, however much you can really take. So I'm inviting you to sit somewhere. You can cross your legs like me. You can have your legs on the, on the uh, hanging down. If you're sitting on a chair, touching the floor, whatever feels good to you. Pay attention to your back, that it's straight. Not to the front, not to the back. Just try to be straight in the here and now. Notice your head on top of your neck. Pull it back slightly, the neck, the chin, just ever so little. And bring your hands into your lap, the left over the right. If the thumbs are touching, that's fine. I'm opening sacred space fast for us today, calling the winds of the south, the winds of the west, the winds of the north, and the winds of the east. Calling below us Pachamama, Papatunuku, Gaia, the earth, and above us Intititai, Father Sky, Grandmother Moon, all star beings. To assist, us, to assist us to open up, to allow more light, to become part of who we are. Simply opening up to the light that is available. The first step of embodying enlightenment. So focus on your breath. I'm sharing with you this beautiful air here in the jungle, wherever you are. And I'm bringing you into beautiful space of Viricocha, the luminous field that we all have. I'm extending mine to yours. That also enables us to go in the space of infinity. And so let's begin to breathe. Inhaling. Holding for a moment and exhaling. Holding for a moment and inhaling. Holding for a moment and exhaling. Holding again and inhaling. Last time holding and exhaling. Holding and inhale. Find your own rhythm of your breath. Be conscious to your breath, the inhale, the pause, and the exhale, the pause, and the inhale. And as you feel a pause, imagine you're falling within yourself into your sacred heart. Imagine the sacred heart 
surrounded by a beautiful luminous diamond holding a beautiful lotus that allows yourself to open up for more light to come within you in your physical body in your symbolic body your mind your emotions and your senses and even into your psychic body your soul just allow this to open this beautiful lotus that allows more light to come within you and to hold that light to embody it on all levels of your being <laughs> Just open up how you feel safe. Letting more light into your sacred heart. And into your whole body. Embodying that light that is available to you through this beautiful lotus that you're opening up. as you feel it, just as it feels good to you, allow this light to enter, enlightening your whole being, opening up your heart, opening up your mind, Then when you are ready, you can either close this lotus again or keep it open the way it feels safe and appropriate for you. 
and then bring your consciousness back into your whole being, into your whole body. Connecting back to the breath, the rhythm of your breath, the inhale, the pause and the exhale, the pause and the inhale. Slowly bringing your consciousness back. Inhale deeply now. And exhale. Move your shoulders, move your hands, move your arms. And slowly come back, blinking your eyes open. Fully awake, fully present, fully here. So this is the first experience of embodied enlightenment. Hope you're enjoying that. Of course, I love to have your comments down here and maybe also some ideas what you would like to hear here in this video series of embodied enlightenment. Thank you for now. My love to you, into your world and see you soon.